got Inkscape open. And uh, what you want to do when you first start to create an ebook cover is is uh, make your rectangle and uh, kind of uh, get it to the rough size that you want. <coughs> and we'll make it the front cover flat to start with. Then we'll get everything skewed around where it looks like an ebook. So first thing we're going to do is pick us a color, and then we'll click on the little uh, square box, and we're going to left click, and we're going to make it about down in the bottom. If you can't see it, it, it shows the uh, rectangle uh, pixels width and height. I'm going to make it about uh, Uh, let's make it two, around 250, somewhere around 250 by 350, and we'll make it 360, somewhere that close to that. Okay. Now we got a basic cover. Move it around a little bit so we can see it better. Now we'll put us a, a image on it. So what I do now is I'll go. I got some images. I'm going to open go to file open. Uh, let's use this one here. Okay, we'll open it up. Then I'm just going to right click. And, whoops, I got a got to click on it and highlight it, and then I'm going to copy it. I'll put this down here, and then I'm going to paste it here. There's probably other ways you can do this, but this is the way I found out it works. So, And we're going to put it on the ebook front cover. And we'll stretch it out a little bit to the side, and a little bit to this side. You can highlight it and use your up and down arrow to kind of move it where you want it. Okay. Go back here a minute. So we've got basically cover with the image on it. And uh, now we'll put some text on it. And we'll click the A for the text and just basically put it somewhere close to where you want to put it. Click the color for it. And we'll make it a little bigger. Go up to the What do we want to call this ebook? Somebody give me an idea here. Getting started. Okay, we've got getting started. And let's make that a little bigger. Well, we'll back and click your little arrow, highlight it, and just move it around just a little bit. We'll put it in a, and we'll go up and hit the T. And here we can change the size of it. We'll make it about, see what 24 looks like. And we might go up just a little bit bigger. Let's take it up to 28. Okay. Move it back over here. We'll 
close this. And what I'm going to do is maybe just kind of make it look like a little shadow. So I'm going to change it. Well, I'm going to duplicate it first. So you highlight it with your little arrow up there and then duplicate it. We're going to put this out here. Now we're going to highlight this one and we're going to change it to kind of a gray color. Then we're going to go up here to the little paintbrush. Okay, it brings this box up. And we're going to put a little blur on that, so you just go up here and that's way too much. Well, I want to put about a, maybe a, maybe a three. Kind of back the opacity down just a little bit. And we'll close that. And then we'll take this, highlight this, and bring it back over and just kind of offset it a little bit. And you can't really see it real well. But, uh, let's see what it looks like if we change the color of the font a little. What is it do we want to learn here about getting started? Uh, give me an idea. Uh, maybe the tagline, the first door that needs to open is your own. Okay. Okay, now we can go up here and bring this back in right there, hit enter, and maybe move that down there, change the color just a little bit, I can't see that very well, well let's move it around see where we can put it. Let's go up here to let's make it bold. See what that looks like. And let's see here. Maybe we'll, you have to change and then hit apply. And let's close that and move it around a little bit. And that won't look too bad. Uh, got any other suggestions what we want to put on it? Okay, we'll go down here and sign it then. And we'll go down here at about 14, see what that looks like. down here. Okay, now let's go and we'll group all this together. Hit our little arrow. We'll draw our little box around it. We'll take off of it. 